Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to paint smooth green orc skin within an hour without glazing. Key to painting within an hour is knowing what paints to use. We start with a very dark color because most of you know that I hate painting over black primer. So I use a darker color as the undercoat before I paint the actual base color. Thin the paint on my wet palette and apply it in two thin coats. This deep green is also a dark green color but it's lighter than our previous color and it will create volume for our orc. We paint around 80 to 90 percent of the surface leaving a bit of the previous color around crevices and deep details. Notice that I don't leave crevices black because if you don't plan them to be black in the final output, why leave them black? So I paint them with the dark green, the, our first paint, and then build up the colors from there. Now it's a matter of using just these two colors, adding a little bit of our deep green as we progress, and painting less and less surface. As you could notice, we are creating volume with just two colors in our orc skin. Now we use a lighter green with a long name. Same step as previously, we mix this paint with the deep green and create a nice transition from there. Again, paint around 80 to 90% of the model of the surface area, but in our case, since we're going for a high contrast finish, I'm painting roughly around 60%. Or maybe less, because I want the lamp that the orc is holding to be the main source of light later. I advocate no glazing painting these days, because it's the most basic way of painting. And if you get to know or mix a lot of paints and learn to blend all those paints without glazing, you like you'll enjoy the painting process a ton more than like doing a ton of complex, more complex techniques like glazing and stuff or wet blending. So before like we delve into a lot of glazing, I, I do glazing with uh, glaze medium or matte medium, but. I'm, I'm kind of learning how to properly do layering and produce smooth finishing without the help of glazing and glaze medium. So basically the mindset here is producing a nice smooth like painting of the green skin without glazing without the help of wet blending and such so that we master like the technique the very basic technique of layering so i failed it's one hour and i'm not finished with the orc skin yet but i'm pretty happy with the outcome so far i'm creating a smooth finish without the help of glazing and stuff and the layering is kind of improving i think i mean my layering so i'm pretty happy so far now it's mixing the sunny skin tone, small amounts of sunny skin tone until we create a really nice glow on the skin. Again, I want the lamp that he is holding to be the main source of light. So maybe once we start to paint that lamp in a future video, we will like enhance the glow in the skin. But so far, it's looking good. Now we're using reddish skin and we're in red. Still no glazing, we're just layering these paints over the lip area and also around the eye area and of course also on the ears. Again, it's a matter of layering and painting and mixing of the paint so that we come up with nice transitions. Now we mix a bit of sunny skin tone to make the worn red lighter. Now we add extreme highlights because we want the lips to look wet or kind of wet so we're using ivory to create extreme highlights that's it fast and easy and fun but we're going to add a bit of game inks red around the lips and exaggerate the shadows with purple ink later once we start painting the lamp 
Hopefully, I was able to show you that you could produce nice soft skin painting without glazing. You might notice that there's less highlight far from the lamp because again, we want the lamp to be the main source of light. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. I'm an affiliate painter for Redgrass Games and also the head mecha and sci-fi painter for Vallejo Colors. I write painting articles for Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I also write articles for Fantasy Figures International Magazine. Lastly, if you're into Gunpla, do use my discount code for usagundamstore.com. Links down below.